Hey guys, I've been using the GMMK Pro for about a week now, and on the hardware side, it's been great. You know, CNC aluminum, haunt swappable PCB. My main issue with it is the software. Glorious Core is not really user friendly, and it's missing a lot of customization options. Luckily, the keyboard supports QMK, which is a much more robust open source firmware. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to customize and install it on your keyboard. So to start off, you'll want to go to the QMK configurator. This can be found at config.qmk.fm, which I've linked in the description. In the box that says keyboard, search and select GMMK slash pro. It'll load a basic default configuration and you can customize it from there. I'd first recommend making sure that the layout matches the keycaps you're using, especially the function row on the right, since I know some people like to put delete up here, then like home here. But yeah, just make sure it matches whatever you have. Also note that the key at the top right that says mute here, that's going to be what happens when you press down on the rotary knob. So if you wanted to pause your music, you can change it to that, or you can just leave it as mute. Once you're done with this, you can move over to layer 1 by clicking the 1 on the left over here under layer. By default, this layer is activated when you hold down the function or FN key. You'll see that there's a key already mapped to a function called reset. Don't delete this. The reset function is what lets you get back into the bootloader to flash a different firmware or go back to the stock glorious firmware. If you flash QMK without a reset key, you'll have to open up the board and press a hardware reset button in order to get access to the bootloader. Other than that, you're free to customize this layer as you wish. The down arrows are all transparent keys and simply activate whatever key is on layer 0. Some of my favorite functions to use on layer 1 are media controls, a sleep button which puts your PC to sleep, and F13 which I use to toggle discord mute. After you're done customizing everything, you can download your keymap.json file, which you can use if you want to customize your keymap later. After that, click compile at the top right to compile the firmware which you'll be flashing onto the keyboard. Also, just to be clear, you can do way more in the QMK configurator than what I've shown here. This is just meant to be a rough overview for people who haven't used it before. Now that the firmware is done compiling, you can click the green firmware download button to save it to your computer. In order to flash the firmware onto our keyboard, we'll be using a software called QMK Toolbox, which I've linked in the description. Go to the releases page and download the latest QMK underscore toolbox.exe file. The first time you open QMK Toolbox, it'll ask you if you want to install USB drivers. Make sure you say yes, and then click allow if it asks for administrator permission. After that, click open up here and select the keymap file that you made earlier in QMK Configurator. You can leave everything else at the default values. In order to get the software to recognize your keyboard, you'll have to put it into bootloader mode. This can be done by holding spacebar and B while you plug in the keyboard, which I'll show on screen. If you do it correctly, you'll see your keyboard pop up here in yellow. After that, you can go ahead and click flash, and it'll start installing the firmware on your keyboard. And then after that, you're pretty much done. If you want to flash a different build of QMK or go back to the default glorious firmware, just use that reset key combo that was in the QMK configurator. By default, it's the function key and backslash. And that's about it. If this video helped you, drop a like, and if you need any help, just leave a comment and I'll try to respond.